Hey guys, Lockie here at Manny's. Today we're going to take a look at the brand new SE models for Korg's WaveState and Op6 digital synths. Uh, as you can see, they're bigger, uh, they've also got increased polyphony, so they're more powerful, and we're going to take a look today at what makes the two of them different from each other and uh, do a bit of playing, so let's hop right into it. I've got the WaveState SE in front of me right now. Uh, both models also come in a sleek platinum edition for those of you aesthetically inclined. And the big difference between these and the Mark I models is that they feature a brand new 61 note Japanese key bed. It's a natural touch response with aftertouch. And the synths are also in a brand new metal enclosure. So they have a very nice weighty feel to them. A few other minor differences is that they've moved the pitch and mod wheels down the side here to where a more traditional keyboardist might find them. Functionally, they're pretty much the same synth uh, inside, except for the fact that Quark has an increased polyphony for both Op6 and WaveState SE. As a keyboardist, the keyboard is something I really look out for when playing synthesizers, and you can immediately tell the difference in quality of this Japanese keyboard compared to the one found on the Mark Ones. Uh, the response is really nice, and it's really beautiful to play. And the aftertouch is just adds another layer of expressivity and performance uh, when playing the instruments. So let's take a quick look at how the WaveState and Opsix generate their sounds. Uh, the wave state, which is in front of me, employs what's called wave sequencing. And this is basically where it takes a, a bunch of samples and sequence, sequences them together uh, to create sort of cyclic evolving um, sound design and sounds. And the wave state basically gives you a whole multitude of controls to affect those wave sequences over time. Uh, for instance, I've got this uh, really nice piano pad loaded up and when I start playing it, I'm going to start affecting some of these uh, modulation knobs and start to affect the sequence. So I'm going to turn up the pitch so it starts to change the pitch. And where it really gets interesting, um, and as a keyboardist, when I start to play much more broader chords utilising the extra uh, large 61 note keyboard, the wave sequence instantly becomes more complex. And basically I can play this like a pad or also just like a piano. So jumping over to the OP6, this is a completely different kind of instrument and employs frequency modul modulation or FM as its sound generation. And if we just want to get back to basics, FM is where you take a carrier signal like the sine wave I have here on this program and you modulate it from another source uh, from this second operator here on the screen. So let's just go and introduce that using the mixer section. So you can hear it's starting to modulate the carrier signal. And then I can start to adjust, adjust the ratio into audio rates. And that's just using two operators. And OP6 actually gives me access to six operators.
So as you can see, it's a really powerful sound engine from just those six operators. And Korg have done a really good job of making FM synthesis approachable and accessible with the way they've laid out uh, this keyboard. And with the SE model, with the increased polyphony and the larger key size, it really expands on that and allows you to use this more in a performance uh, orientation. You can split the operators across the keys in, in different splits. We've got a wider range for the step sequencer and also for motion recording. And overall, it makes it much more of a performance synth than its smaller counterpart. <laughs> Another really fun thing I like to do on both the Wave State and Op6 is use the dice button, which randomizes the program uh, completely. It's just a really fun way to explore both instruments. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's do it again. Oh, there we go. So as you can see, super versatile and powerful synths in their own right, with their own unique workflows to explore. But I really think these SE models do an amazing job of expanding on that and making them much more of a performance orientated synthesizer. With the Japanese keybed and the all metal enclosure, this thing would be like right at home on the stage. I really suggest coming in store to try one of these because the keybed is something that you need to play to get a feel for how this is different to the uh, Mark 1s. Um, so head on down to Store DJ Manny's to try one for yourself. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.